With this, we come to the end of this course. And here's a quick summary of what we covered. Again, this was implementing fault tolerance and resilience in microservices, understanding them, finding out what are the possible challenges we need to solve, and then what are the solutions that are available for you and how to actually use them. So we started out with understanding some of the possible causes for failure in microservices. What are the things that could go wrong and why they could go wrong? Uh, we then looked at uh, some of the concepts associated with threads and thread pools and some of the impacts of slow microservices. Uh, a microservice being down is clearly an issue, but even a microservice being slow can be more of an issue than, you know, uh, just being affecting that particular microservice. There is a chance that if you haven't implemented your microservice architecture well, a slow microservice can bring your whole application down. So we learned about the impacts and why that could possibly happen. Then we looked at timeouts and its limitations. Timeouts is one way to solve the problem, but then it doesn't solve all of the problems and we learned why. Then we moved on to a solution to that, which was a circuit breaker pattern. We learned what the circuit breaker pattern is, why we need the circuit breaker pattern and how it solves the problem that we've been discussing. And then we looked at one uh, technology which allows us to implement the circuit breaker pattern in Spring Boot applications, which is Hystrix. We learned the concepts of Hystrix. We learned what are the parameters that we can use to configure it? What is the fallback mechanism? How does that work? And we also dove deep into the implementation. We actually used Hystrix. We implemented it in a sample application and we learned how it solves some of the problems we've been discussing. And then finally, we learned about the bulkhead pattern, which is another pattern that we can use to implement uh, fault tolerance in your applications. So this was level two of the microservices course. Um, you have two levels now. Level one was communication and service discovery. Level two is uh, fault tolerance and resilience.